Hi everybody, welcome to week six. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into what we're doing this week. Um, so if we go to our week six folder, um, you will see the agenda. This week we're finishing up chapter four. Uh, I've got two set, two lectures. Uh, the first one is discrete random variables binomial distribution. Uh, it is six videos. Um, it focuses on explaining the binomial distribution and then I move into how to find these binomial probabilities using the TI-84 uh, calculator. Um, that is followed up by a very short lecture on um, finding the same binomial probabilities but using our guru. Um, I, I think it would be good for you to see how to do it both ways, but I will tell you um, that now that our guru uh, is in existence, it, it makes the binomial probabilities uh, so much easier, I think. Um, but they are both there for you. Um, also note that any of the uh, any of the feedback and instruction that you see in Newton for the homework will involve the calculator and not our guru. So, um, but I think if you watch the video for our guru that I did, I think that you'll see that that, uh, well, hopefully you won't have many questions, but if you do, you can def definitely reach out to me for that. Um, then we have our normal data talk discussion. Um, we have one, um, our guru workshop is called a free throw activity. Actually for this activity, you can use either our guru or the TI calculator. You can use either one. I don't care. We do have a test this week and, um, hopefully you've already started working on the review from last week for every hour. I'm sorry. I would like for you to spend an hour working on the review, and so I've made that an assignment. So you get one point for every six minutes that you spend, up to a total of ten points. That's the the max, and that's what you want. So um, please spend at least the hour so that you don't make a zero on that assignment. Or um, also, it's helpful for the review to review for the test, right? Um, which leads us to a uh, test. The window for the test is uh, Thursday, March 17th. That's when it opens and it will close Sunday, March 20th. Um, try not to wait until Sunday to get all of this done um, because that would be a lot very stressful for you when you're taking the test. Uh, just like last time, um, you have to turn in your work for the exam or you don't get a grade. You you only get credit for the problems that you show work or explain how you got the got the answer. Okay, so make sure that you turn that in. Um, and we only have two homework assignments in Newton: four point two point one and four point three point one. Um, as always, I have the activities in suggested order um, there for you. Um, and I, I think you know um, just real quick the data talk the data talk. Um, <laughs> the data talk uh, this week, uh, it, 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 um, it has to do with, uh, the, the, the great, uh, t uh, paper towel shortage of 2020. And I, I thought that that was appropriate since that was almost exactly two years ago this week when, um, when all of that went down in our area with the paper towels and the toilet paper and not being able to find either one in the grocery store. Ah, anyway, so, uh, I, I think that will be a very interesting graph, uh, to view, to view that data from, uh, you know, something that you guys lived through. And, uh, so I think hopefully it will promote an interesting discussion, just like the Batman one did this week. And, um, yeah. So if you have questions, Please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, please don't forget that under course materials, we have this lovely Padlet wall that no one is using. All you have to do when you have a question is, uh, well, go to the bottom of the Padlet and hit the plus sign, and then you can post your question. So please consider using that because it would be a benefit to your classmates uh, as well as yourself. Um, uh, so post those those questions. Uh, 
I will be happy to answer them on the Padlet. You can also still email me, but I just wanted to remind you guys that that's there. And um, I do have office hours this week, Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 3.30 p.m. in my office, B206. Or you can make an appointment online and I can meet you via Zoom. Okay, have a great week. Bye.